working on this uh, cruise control servo for my 87 El Camino and I ran across a uh, video um, on YouTube um, that explained the issues with the servos um, apparently there's uh, like a filter of uh, like it's made of foam that goes around this sol solenoid right here and it deteriorates and it um, gets into the valve where it actually um, keeps the vacuum locked into the the diaphragm and it was a really good video uh, don't remember the uh, gentleman's name but I will uh, link that video in the uh, description of mine but uh, I'm going one step further and I'm making sure that uh, both these activate properly so uh, I went to my schematic here um, in my GM manual and printed out these pages and that's the servo I don't know if you can see that or not so it's got five pins and the center one goes to ground so I went ahead and grounded that one out and then the outer ones uh, like the green light green and the uh, dark blue um, are the 12 volt signals I guess that activate it. I'm not quite sure what the tan and the, the light blue uh, do. I haven't traced that back through the circuit yet. But um, so what I've done is just use a uh, cordless tool battery and uh, that's 12 volts. So what I'm going to do is activate this solenoid here by uh, clamping this alligator clip on here and as you see it, it pulls it down and what that does is it keeps the valve closed so it'll retain vacuum inside the diaphragm and how I've been testing that is I went ahead and plugged off this vacuum line and I depress the diaphragm and you can see it freely goes back to its home position. Now when I push this diaphragm in and I activate the solenoid so now it's activated and you can see the, the uh, diaphragm is holding and as soon as I release it it goes back to its uh, original shape so I tested the other one you can just listen to it click so what that does is it allows when that solenoid is activated it allows vacuum to go through the smaller tube and I think that is the primary um, vacuum that uh, handles controlling the speed of the, uh, the vehicle so what I did there is I depressed the diaphragm and uh, I went ahead and pulled vacuum or plugged this off and it does the same thing it locks it into place and as soon as you open this up it releases so um, I know that solenoid is working properly as well and this one you got to be real careful there's a there's a rod in here on this uh, I guess this is the vacuum source that uh, basically breaks the uh, vacuum when you hit the brake pedal. It just allows the, the vacuum to dissipate uh, instantly so your cruise control becomes disabled. But anyways, this little rod needs to go back down in this hole and this plunger needs to go on top of it. So what retains that in position is this cover and that keeps it from popping out and uh, like I said the video that I've linked in the description uh, goes into detail about all that stuff but uh, like I said I wanted to take this one step further and make sure I didn't break uh, there's these real fine wires in here that uh, go around the uh, windings of these uh, solenoids and uh, if you break them then obviously it won't work anymore so my concern was I handled this quite a bit going through all the process that this uh, guy had mentioned in his video 
and I wanted to make sure that these were still functional. So that's when I broke out the uh, cordless tool battery and uh, connected everything up and, and tested it. So I'm completely confident now that this is functioning uh, the way it's supposed to. So if you have any uh, questions on this or you want to leave some comments, just uh, pop them in below and uh, I'll get back to you. But uh, like I said, I hope, hopefully this helps somebody out uh, working on a cruise control unit on a G-Body.